Right, well those who are familiar with this channel will know that this tank is Seb's. But for all those that are new to the channel and are watching this video for the first time, this tank belongs to a friend of mine. It's an ex-Berlin Brigade Chieftain tank and our plan in this video is to do it up. You'll see us from unloading it in its pretty tatty condition here and going through it, getting the engine out, getting the gearbox out, going through everything, painting the whole thing, needle gunning the whole tank and painting it up in urban camouflage. So stay tuned and sit tight. The first thing we did was take the engine out. The engine weren't in such a bad state, but it needed a fair bit doing, so we gave it a good clean, serviced it, checked it over, changed a few oil seals, and gave it a good old paint up, and that looks fantastic. Next job was to take the gearbox out and clean the engine bay. Oh, lovely. There's a bit of free gear. A free what? There's a free socket. Adjustable. Extension uh, right extension. There. Look, look at that. Look at that. What a fine. The next thing we did was get the folding out and shove it in the workshop to begin the needle gunning. Needle gunning basically hammers off all the flaky paint and on this tank there was a lot of flaky paint and it took Jack and the team the best part of two weeks to needle gun. I know it's a lot longer process than sandblasting, but when you sandblast stuff, it gets into absolutely everything, all in the electrical components, all in bearings, which is not something you want in tanks. If you're gonna take the turret all off and take every single thing out, that's fine. But if you're not doing that, sandblasting is not fine. So uh, this is just pushing it in to begin all that. For some reason, I'm not entirely sure why but I've managed to lose all the video footage of all the needle gunning that Jack spent and everyone else spent on this vehicle so uh, sorry about that but to be honest it wasn't terribly exciting so here's the uh, quick time lapse as us putting the first coat of grey primer on instead we then fitted the gearbox and then the engine it was then time to try and figure out how to do the urban camo scheme Nothing here to see, just a kid like me Trying to cut some tea, trying to figure it out Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you I'm still on here trying to figure it out Getting hard to sleep, blood is in my dreams Love is killing me, trying to figure it out Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you 
what you reckon, Ted? Right, what do you think then? Is it going to be any good? No, it's going to be a lot of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Moment, of work, Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Go on. Who's Go going on. to rip the first piece? This is tank. Get on with it. No, go on, Jake. Come on, hurry up. Come Just on, rip it as I will. Gentle. Problem is, you've got to go through all the layers of tape now. Like normal. Oh, yeah. She's doing everything like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even rip tape off. <laughs> oh, I've got a paper cut. I've done this, but I've just had my period. Oh, oh shut up. Does that mean to be a straight line? <laughs> no, because you still have the same part. What? I was like, that's not straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, certainly an interesting line because, well, you've remasked it, we've now got the white. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you'll have to you just... You and your girly hands to touch up. Yeah. It's working. It's not, it? mm. Do a bit of white just to see. There's a little bit of overspray. Where, where is the next white bit? I think here. Did you just pull the corner off then? What? He's just chipped the white paint. That's all he's done there. Oh, oh no, that is tape. Oh, oh, yeah. well, that looks alright. That's a good line. Oh, mate, if it's going to work like that, I'm happy with that. <laughs> you may as well start there, Tony, tell you what, what a disaster we've got. I think everyone needs to go ripping mad. <laughs> I thought you were going shopping. Well, this is detailed as hell. Can you have your tongue out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Could you not have found a better brush? No, don't own one. Look at the state of it. It's the best brush I've got. <laughs> so, 17 new heads, 14 new handles. <laughs> And now it's time to test drive it.
well, thank you all for watching. Jack's worked really hard, but to be fair, everyone has on this. All the needle gunning, all the masking, all the painting. Um, obviously, I've done the engine. Jack's also helped with that. But she's she's looking and sounding the absolute nuts. Um, we have a few more little jobs we've got to do. We've got to put some mud flaps on. We've still got the turret baskets to put on. Um, registration. We have ordered a gun cover, a sleeve. So we've got that to go on. Don't think there's much else. Oh yeah, so the, the, the next thing, the next big project, at, part project for this is um, we've got to try and get the turret to work properly or we'd like to get it to work properly on the methadine. So we've got a box out in the unknown condition that's missing, which is the main turret control box, which we showed in another video. So we're going to fit that soon and then try and run up the turret. We know that the donkey engine, or the UUE, whatever you want to call it, is charging and charging pretty well. Um, so we're going to put that box in, fit everything else. We actually have the two joysticks missing, but we've got, we've got two. We're going to fit all that, and then we're going to live it up and just see what happens. It may work, it may not work. Let us know in the comments if you think we'll ever get the turret to work electronically. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.